Let's take a look at how we can loop our footage. Now there's several reasons you might want to do this. I tour a lot and I go to comic book shows and I show my films and, or my portfolio or whatever on my laptop and it's programmed to, of course, to loop over and over again. So in order to do that, you can go to the file menu and you can choose something in the interpret footage category to do that. But you might be wondering why I can't access this now. Well, that's because I have to click on the footage in the project panel to activate that option. Go to File, Interpret Footage, and choose Main. This Interpret Footage dialog box appears, and the option that we want to change right here is Loop. So when you render out your QuickTime movie or your other format, it will loop the specified number of times that you have right here. So I could enter, say, let's say four or five. So my QuickTime movie will literally have that movie four or five times in that playback until it reaches the end, and then I can go ahead and manually start it again if I need to. Now, if you're at a convention or you simply want to study your footage for mistakes or for things that don't quite look right, or if you're sitting next to the director and you guys want to look at one part or some kind of special effect over and over again to really see what you could do to tweak it and make it look better. You can use the preview buttons up here to do that. Now the first one is simply to play all the way through one time. Now these buttons respond to your work area. So as you can see here, this guy here is our work area. And I can take this slider here, or this endpoint, and I can put it at the one second mark. And when I press the play button, it's going to play this footage one time and stop at the end of this work area. That's very helpful because you can move this whole thing by clicking in the middle to a trouble spot and you can simply play it over and over again to analyze the footage. That's very, very helpful. Now, what if you want the footage to, for some reason, go like this? Go to the beginning and back and forth never ending. Well that's called a ping pong. Then all we have to do is click on this button two times to get to this icon here. This is the ping pong button and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home key on my keyboard to go to the beginning of my work area and I'll press play. Now of course that's a popular effect when people want to show animals dancing. So you have an animal that looks like he's dancing, but if it goes backwards, it really looks like it's dancing. So let me just go ahead and scrub through here, just see if I can find something that might be kind of cool, like maybe here. So she, she's doing this, and I can go ahead and grab my work area, and I'll put it here, and I'm going to ping pong this. So let's go ahead and try that. And now you get the idea. You can really extend footage that looks like it belongs together and plays well backwards and forwards. So once again, that's the ping pong. So what if you would want to loop this instead from the beginning of this piece to the end to the beginning over and over again without having to click this button and then this button and this button over and over again to go from the first frame to the last frame and then pressing play. Well, if we click here again, you'll find a loop symbol and when we press play, the footage inside the work area will literally loop until you stop the playback. So these options here are really valuable when you need to analyze your footage or you want to play around and you want to render out something that looks kind of cool, like, like I said before, some kind of animal or maybe a, a child that's doing some kind of strange motion, but when you play it backwards and forwards, he's dancing all of a sudden. So that is how you can loop your footage by rendering it out by choosing interpret footage and by playing it back inside of After Effects.